Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about things that I see in the news. I probably got to start doing some rants about things in the markets. But whatever. Right now, I like talking about this kind of stuff. Joe Rogan warned big tech employees of being mentally ill. Conservatives, enraged Disney employees say their beliefs are coming under attack. In an open letter calling for the company to be politically neutral, as Raven Simone and the cast of Raven's Home join walkout over Florida's stupid don't say gay bill. Disney is bending the knee to its whiny woke workforce throwing a hissy fit. Florida's so-called don't say gay bill, the rest of America will suffer for this corporate cowardice. And there's not a viable path forward for you. Levi's brand president, Jennifer Say, reveals CEO's warning, claiming she was forced out for slamming COVID measures for kids while colleagues branded Fox News divisive and bigoted. Now, I could have, what I could have done is just separated these and made a couple of different videos on it, but it's really the same subject. So that's why I decided to do it all at once. Rogan is 100% correct here. Somewhere, like when I was growing up, I was taught that when you were at work for like 8, 10, 8, 9, 10, 12 hours a day, however long you were at work, you're there to accomplish the things that you're being paid for. And your political beliefs are a secondary thing. And I point to everybody deserves a safe work environment. I shouldn't have to come into work and feel pressure to conform to your politics, whether it's the boss on down or whatever it is. My job shouldn't be contingent that I am uh, voting in lockstep for the party that you want me to vote for. And it's like, it, Disney, where is it? Right here, conservative workers, Enraged Disney employees say beliefs are coming under attack. Well, I want to know if I could ask Raven Simone, who, I mean, I don't know how she's relevant. I guess she was the cute little girl on the Cosby show back in the 80s, and she hasn't done anything interesting since then. But, you know, what does the Florida don't say gay bill, which it actually doesn't say anything to that effect in there. All they said is you're not allowed to talk about sexual subjects with kindergartners through third graders, which I actually agree with. I don't know why. Well, I have my sneaking suspicion on why uh, people are in such a rush to talk to kids about this is because they want to groom them and, you know, it's the easiest way to indoctrinate kids is when they're young, but I don't know what this bill has to do with Disney. And in all honesty, here's what I think is going to happen with this whole thing. I think this is going to get to a ridiculous level because the CEO basically what I call these people that are willing to do this are emotional terrorists. They're terrorists. They're holding everybody hostage. That's, it's, well, if you don't agree with my policies, I'm going to have you fired from your job. You are to be fired and othered. You lose your job. You should lose your house. All because you don't agree with what a bunch of crazy people think. And I'm just here to tell you, the people engaging in these type of behaviors that think they're activists primarily and that their job is to be activists on the job instead of being, I don't know, director of marketing. They are mentally ill, as Rogan said. And they're a small percentage. So what's happening is a bunch of crazy people think they should be able to control other people. So what they do is they force everybody else to fall in line by getting one person in their fire. And they're like, you know, Steve uh, Steve said he's for the uh, don't say gay bill. So uh, we got Steve fired, okay? 
well, and I look at him and I say, well, Steve has two kids. And the guy looks back at me and like, well, we fired Steve. And Steve's now down at the truck stop selling his bussy for some extra cash to pay for his kids. All because he supported the don't say gay bill and our company is against that. And I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, Jeremy from the quartering actually pointed this out perfectly. And I'm going to use what he said. I don't ever want to be a guy who like says somebody else's idea. It's not like this idea is so magical that only one person could have thought of it. But this is what I would do at Disney. I come walking into work. Monday morning with a MAGA hat on and a Fox News t-shirt. And I would basically dare them to fire me. And when I did, I would turn around and sue them for discrimination because it's illegal. And see, this is what's going to start happening here. Also, once you, I, I say this all the time, once you other enough people you can no longer use the threat of being ostracized. Is this really what this is? It's really Puritanism. It's Puritanism, and they're threatening you if you don't say what they want to hear to kick you out of the village, and then you'll probably, because it's the 1600s, get killed by whoever comes across you because you don't have any backup and you're out there on your own. Like, that's what it is. It's modern day Puritanism. I talk about this all the time. Well, it's, it's, it, think about it. It fits all the general description of Puritanism. You are to lose everything that you own and you are to be kicked out of the tribe if you just don't repeat the mantra. That's what they want from you. But the problem is, is at a certain point, these companies are going to have to come they're going to have to answer to the shareholders and they're going to come back and they're going to start. The shareholders are going to start saying, Disney, look, here's the thing. I'm glad that you have some, uh, I'm glad that you're, you know, socially aware, right? And you're not doing stuff that's gross. That's great. But your movies and all your TV shows are now bombing. Because you're trying to throw woke messaging in there. Your product is optional. I don't have to watch Disney. I don't have to watch whatever show. I So at a certain point, the shareholders are going to look back at, look at the CEO and be like, okay, homie, revenue is dropping. It's time to put the foot down and start stamping out some of these people that think they're activists. Because people are tired of it. And here's really where it's going to start to hurt them. Big tech companies like Apple, Google, there's not really much you can do there. Because of the way the companies are set up, you can have a bunch of zealots there. They're selling Macs and iPhones and Google is, you know, being the evil empire that it promised it would never be. Not really much you can do there. But a company like Disney, right? I don't have to. I'll just cancel my subscription. You put enough woke messaging and it's, you put enough woke messaging in there and I'm just going to say, okay, I'm done. Click. Uh, yep. Cancel my uh, Disney account. Uh, I'm done. Uh, no more charges per month because I got rid of my subscription because I'm not going to sign up to watch your shows to be lectured. See, I don't know where these people that are working there, or I don't know why the people that are working there think that the average person is going to come home from work and just kick the feet up on the couch, sit down on the couch, put their feet up on the coffee table and go, you know what I want? I'm going to be lectured for the next two hours about how nothing I do is good enough and America is systemically racist and uh, I'm basically a piece of crap if I don't believe that, you know, uh, a uh, six foot four man shouldn't be swimming with women. And if I don't think that being fat is good for you, you know, what I really want to do is I want to sit here and I want to get lectured. 
I want you to lecture me the entire time. It's that nobody says that. They come home from work. Do you know why shows like Friends and Everybody Loves Raymond were popular? I'll tell you why. Because it's 8.30 at night, 9 o'clock at night, when people were watching these. Blue collar and what used to be white collar, was, which was connected to actual blue collar work. Everybody had, you know, their hands were all in the same company on a common mission, right? They come home from work, they're tired. They don't want to think an hour before you're, they're going to go to bed. I know I don't. I, it, to be perfectly honest with you, by the time I'm to the last hour I'm up, I just want to throw on something, tune out, just listen to somebody else talk or have an interesting story told to me that I don't really need to think about. And so that's why these shows were popular. And this comes down to the bottom line. How long are these CEOs going to let the inmates run the asylum when it starts affecting the underlying the underlying reason on why you have a business cash flows paid back to you. And I'm just telling you, it's really going to start hurting these companies and a company like the daily wire putting out its own good non woke content. It's like, there's a spot for your woke BS, make a show that's with all your woke BS. Right? And then make a show without it and see which one is more popular. I could tell you which one it's more likely than not going to be. But it's really going to be the market that starts punishing these people. But these people are insane. They're insane terrorists that want to hold your livelihood hostage so that you better agree with them because they fall to pieces if somebody just tells you, well, why don't you think Leah Thomas should be swimming with women? Because Leah Thomas has inherent advantages that were gifted to her because he's a guy. That's why. That's why that happened. Okay? That's why I'm not in favor of women being forced to compete against trans athletes. Now, if women get together and they say they're fine with competing with trans athletes and they're not also being held hostage by these societal terrorists, then I'm fine with it. But other than that, see, and that's wrong think. And now I'm should be banned, you know, and you have to go be homeless and then just be, you know, <clears throat> down there on my knees in front of a hobo looking at a dude and being like, dude, this thing smells. Do you even wash it? And the hobo looks back at me and you're like, do you want that 20 bucks to pay your rent or not? Like, okay, guess I know what I'm doing to pay my rent. So anyways, like and subscribe or don't and I'm out.